So we are going to start by making the body. For this we will be using an egg box. Later I will be using the rounded side, but for now we are going to cut out one of the cone shapes in the middle. Try to cut neatly around the bottom to save the rest of the box. Trim the edges so your cone sits level. Now we are going to make some arms. Start by cutting a strip of card from the short edge of a piece of A4. Fold the strip in half, then cut. Fold in half again. Keeping the piece of card folded, draw a straight arm with the top at the folded edge and the hand at the open edge. I am making a bear, so it's going to be furry and have claws. Cut out your arm, but don't cut along the folded edge. You will end up with two arms attached together. Draw on some details if you want to. Put a dab of glue in the centre of your arms where your fold line is. Curve your arms around your body and press firmly so they stick. Now we're going to make the head. Scrunch up a small piece of newspaper. Check it is the right size for your body. Wrap a small piece of paper over your ball and press down all over. Twist the paper at the bottom. Cut off most of the excess paper but leave a short stalk. Cut the stalk into a point and use sellotape to wrap up the whole stalk. Now make a hole in the top of your body by pressing very gently with the tip of some scissors. You may need to get an adult to help you with this. Bring back your head and push the stalk gently into the hole. Now your head is attached. Now we're going to make some feet. Draw a fat heart shape onto your second piece of card from earlier. As I'm making a bear, I'm drawing some ears as well. If you want to make ears, make sure you draw a tab to attach them with as well. Cut out your shapes, then add whatever details you want to. Put some glue on the bottom of your heart shape and fix it to the inside of your body. Press firmly. Gently fold up the feet. If your character has ears, put glue on the tabs then stick them to the head. Now it's time to draw on your character's face. My bear character is nearly finished, but it's not a puppet without a control rod. Cut another strip from your A4 card. Fold it in half long ways and then fold again. Wrap sellotape tightly around the end so you create a thick flat shape. Cover the whole stick with tape in the same way. Now we need to attach our rod to our character. Turn your character over and put a strip of tape over the back of the body and head. I haven't shown it here but it's good to put a strip of tape in both directions. To make it extra secure, get some ribbon or string and tie it around your character's neck. This can be decorative too. I am making a mummy bear, so I'm tying a pretty bow. Now add extra details such as clothing. I have made an apron from paper, which I'm simply gluing to the body. 
think she's finished. Now I'm going to show you how to make a smaller puppet character. Cut out one of the rounded bits from your egg box. You need to cut a V-shape into the top of it. Put glue along one of the long edges, then curve the egg box around to stick it to the other side. Make sure you leave a small hole in the top, as this is where the head will go. It should look like a thumb. Use sellotape to make it extra secure whilst the glue dries. Now we have a body. Make a head in the same way as we did before, just a little smaller. Push the stalk gently into the hole. Make arms, feet and ears just as you did before. That the head of this bear is a little wrinkly, so drawing a face onto it would be tricky. So instead, I'm going to draw a face onto a separate piece of paper. If you're doing this method, make sure it's the right size and then cut it out. Put a dab of glue onto the back and then stick it to your head. This might take a bit of fiddling to get it in the right place. Here I'm just adding a few extra details to the body. And finally I'm adding a control rod, just as I did before. One long piece of sellotape downwards and one piece across. And now we have a baby bear to join mummy and daddy bear. But if we've got a family of bears, we also need a Goldilocks. For this character I've used wool for hair and sequins for eyes. You could also use felt or fabric to cover your body. Now we have all the characters we need to tell a story. Goldilocks was very hungry, but she spied the bear's house. There were three bowls of porridge inside. The first was too hot. And the second was too cold. But the third was just right. Now you know how to make everything you need to perform your own puppet shows at home. Perhaps you'd like to retell your favourite story. Start by thinking about what characters and places are in the story and then try to remember what happens. Before we perform our puppet shows in front of an audience, we like to practice what we're going to say and how we're going to move the puppets. This is called a rehearsal. Once you've practiced your show, perhaps you'd like to perform it in front of your family or you could film it and share it with all of your friends. We would also love to see your shows, so please do share them with us. That's it for our mini theatres make, but we've got loads more fun videos lined up to share with you all, so please do follow us on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. And as always, don't forget to like, share and donate if you can. Thanks for watching, bye for now.